Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Webdyne Pro ABAP and in the previous video, we started with inbound and outbound plugs. We understood the concept, we discussed the steps. Now we will start with the practical part. Now what I will do, I will go to SC80 transaction code and we will create a Webdyne Pro component. You all know with the help of SC80, we can create a Webdyne Pro component because SAP integrates each and everything into SC80 transaction code. Now from the drop down, we will go for Webdyne Pro component slash interfaces. Now for the practical demo of inbound and outbound plugs, we will take Mara and MAKT table. In the previous examples, we already have taken BBAK and BBAP. Now it's good that for this particular topic, we will take Mara and MAKT table. At least we will get the exposure of different tables also. So what I will do, I will simply create an application for Mara and MAKT. On one view, we will display the data from Mara table. In another view, we will display the data from MAKT table. You all know Mara and MAKT are one of the most important tables for material master. This is our material master table. Then this is our materials description table. So on one view, we will display the data from Mara table. Whenever user will click onto the button, we will simply display the material descriptions onto the another view. So what I will do, I will simply create an application. Firstly, we'll create a component. Then anyways, we need to create an application to run that component. So I will give some name. You all know the first letter should be Z or Y. ZWD material details. I will go for enter. System will ask me, do you want to create web dendro component? Yes, I want to create. You all know by default, whatever the name of the component is, it is appearing in the window name. And by default, we have one view that is main view. I will just give the description to the component. So I will write to display the material details. I will go for enter. I will save this as a local object. Now I will simply, simply go for the views and you can see as of now, we have one view there that is main. I will double click on the view and I will provide the description so that we can understand fully. How to give the description to this view? Just go for the properties tab. And we will give the description to understand it fully. Now I will go to change mode and I will write view for material master. View for material must. Now I will simply go for save. Now I need to create another view also. Previously we have only one view. Now we are doing the navigation. So I will create another view. So how we will create? I will simply right click on to the views. And I will go for create. Suppose my name of the second view is main one. So I will just give that description. View for material descriptions. I will go for end. And I will go for save. And you will be able to see now we have two views. On the one view, we will design the layout from Mara table. On another view, we will design the layout from MAKT table. And same to same, 
we will go for a label of material number we will go for input out input field of material number then we will simply go for output field same layout we will design which we designed in case of vbak and vbap now how we will design the layout you all know we have root ui element container so whatever the user interface elements we will create will create into this root ui element container and what is the most preferable layout matrix layout is always always most preferable i already told you 99.99 percent .99 always every requirement is fulfilled by this only so we'll go for matrix layout now firstly i will go for the label of material now you all know in mara table the main primary key is material number this is material number so I will simply right click on to root UI element container, insert element. Firstly, I will go for label. Suppose I will write matena underscore LBL. It is your label. Type is label. I will go for OK. Whatever is appearing in red color, those are mandatory to pass. As of now, I will only provide the text. Then we will go for label four also. I will just see where the property is text. This is also appearing in red color. It means compulsory we need to pass. Material now. We'll go for save. And you all know whenever you want to see the properties, you just need to double click. You will be able to see the properties. Now we will go for input field of material number. I will simply right click, insert element. And I will write matena underscore in. In means for input field. And this is our input field. I will go for OK. So now we have, this is the label. And this is our input field. And you all know, yes, by default, we are going for, by default, this is your matrix data. You have two things, matrix head data and matrix data. Matrix head data means it will start from the new line. It will start from the starting of the new line. And matrix data means it will be in continuation. Yes, we want this input field to be in continuation of this label. So it will be your matrix data. Anyways, it is fully explained when we cover the basic application. Now, now we need to go for binding with, between these two things that this label is for this input field. So how we will do that? We'll simply click on to the label and you can see it is appearing in red color. It means compulsory we need to pass this label is for this input field. Now we will go for save. Anyways, it is fully explained in the previous example. Just now we are going for different tables so we can get the more exposed. Now I will go for submit button. I will right click, insert element, and now I will create a submit button. Suppose I will write submit underscore btn, and it is your button. We'll go for OK. Now you can see by default, this submit button is matrix data. We want this in the new line at the start of the new line. So we need to take matrix head data so that it can start from the starting of the new line. If I will go for save, you can see it is at the starting of the line now. Now we will go for providing some text to the button. Now, what is the text of the button? Suppose submit. And I will go for save. So our label is ready. Our input field is ready. Our button is ready. Now we will go for output because we will take three to four output fields also. Suppose from Mara table, 
we will take suppose MT ART MBRSH. Suppose we will take uh, MEINS. We'll take unit of measurement. Okay. Suppose we will take these three things. Okay, we'll take MEINS, MTART, MBRSH, and MEINS. Suppose we will take these three things. So firstly, I will simply create a label, insert element. So MTART underscore LBL label. We'll go for label. I will go for OK. Now it is matrix data, but we want in the new line. So I will simply take it as matrix head data. So I will simply, simply take it as matrix head data. Now here I will create a output field. Now you all know in WebDen Pro there is no output like this. You have to go for text view. Word itself is saying the text which is for viewing purpose. So I will simply write MTART underscore TV. TV stands for text view. So I will write text view. I will go for OK. Now we will simply, simply go for this. This is your matrix data. It's OK. Firstly, I will give the label to this. Now, what is the label? It is your industry sector. MTART is material type. I will write material type. I will go for save. Now we need to create the binding between these two. That this label is for this text view. So I will simply, simply go for the properties of the label. These are the properties of the label. Label for it is MTART underscore text. Anyways, it is appearing in this red color. You have to compulsory pass. Now we will go for another label and another text. I will right click. Insert element. Now, what is our second MBRSH? Now, I will write underscore LBL. This is your label. I will provide the text to this label. This is your industry sector. Now, I will simply create a text view. It should be our matrix head data because we want to start from the new line. Now, I will create a text view. Matrix head data, sorry. So that it will start from the new line. Yes, it is in new line. Now, I will create a text view. MBRSH underscore T text view. The view which is the text which is for viewing purpose. Now I will create the binding between these two that this label is for that text view. This is your text. I will save. During layout, always make a practice to parallelly save because it is very tedious task to design the layout again. I will just right click. I will go for insert and here I will go for MEINS underscore LBL and this is our label. Now this is your matrix head data. We will give that description. Suppose we will write unit. Now I will simply, simply go for right click and create a label for MEINS, sorry, text view, label is already created. MEINS underscore TV. This is your text view. 
I'll go for OK. Now I will simply create the binding between these two. That MEINS label is for MEINS underscore text. We'll go for save. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the practical part of inbound and outbound plugs. And this time we took the example of Mara and MAKT table. Those are for material tables. They are for materials. They belong to material master and material description. So as a part of that, we created the Web10 Pro component through SC80 transaction code. Now we created two views. One view is by default present. Then I'm creating another view and I created the view main one. Then on first view, we started with the layout creation. We took one label for material master, input field for the material label for material number, input field for the material number. We took one submit button. I created three labels and three text views. And whenever you are going for the labels, you need to bind yes, this label is for this text view or this label is for this particular input field. Anyways, they will appear in red color. So you need to compulsory pass. In the next video, you all know we will create attributes, will bind, and then I will design the layout on second view also. Then we will do the navigation. So that's it in this video. Thank you.